Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson Life Insurance Products 2. Here we will get introduced to the world of non-traditional life insurance products. The following topics will be covered here. One of the principal purposes of saving and investing in non-traditional life insurance products is to achieve intertemporal allocation of resources, which is both efficient and effective. Intertemporal allocation means allocation across time. The term effective here implies that sufficient funds are available to successfully satisfy various needs as they arise in different stages of the life cycle. Efficient allocation, on the other hand, implies a faster rate of accumulation and more funds available in future. There are some limitations of traditional products. First, savings or cash value component is not well defined. It is determined by assumptions about mortality, interest rates, expenses and other parameters set by the life insurer, which can be arbitrary. Second, it is not easy to ascertain what would be the rate of return on these policies until the time when the contract ends. Third, the method of arriving at surrender value is not visible. And last, the yields on these policies may not be as high as can be obtained from more risky investments. As the limitations of traditional life insurance plans became obvious, a number of shifts occurred in the product profiles of life insurers. First, unbundling. This trend involved separation of the protection of savings elements and consequently the development of products which stressed on protection or savings rather than a vague mix of both. Second, investment linkage. The investment-linked products linked benefits to policyholders with an index of investment performance. There was consequently a shift in the way life insurance was positioned. Third, transparency. It assured greater visibility in the rate of return and in the charges made by the companies for their services like expenses, etc. All these were explicitly spelt out and could thus be compared. Last, non-standard products. When we speak of non-standard, it is with respect to the degree of choice which a customer can exercise to design the structure and benefits of the policy. It is a shift from rigid to flexible product structures. The major sources of appeal of the new genre of products that emerged worldwide are as follows. First, direct linkage with investment gains. One of the most important arguments in support of investment-linked insurance policies has been that even though in the short run there may be some ups and downs in the equity markets, the returns from these markets would in the long run be much higher than that of other secured fixed income instruments. Second, inflation beating returns. The rate of yield on a life insurance policy must be significantly higher than the rate of inflation. This is where investment-linked insurance policies were especially able to score over traditional life insurance policies. Third, flexibility. Through this, policyholders could now decide within limits the amount of premium they wanted to pay and vary the amount of death benefits and cash values. And last, surrender value. The policies also allowed the policyholders to withdraw from the schemes after a specified initial period of years after deduction of a nominal surrender charge. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Life Insurance Products 2, we will discuss some of the non-traditional products that have emerged in the Indian market and elsewhere. The following topics will be covered here. Universal Life Insurance is a form of permanent life insurance characterized by flexible premiums, flexible face amount and death benefit amounts and the unbundling of its pricing factors. Let us begin with flexible premium. Policyholder within limits can decide the amount of premiums, make additional premiums or skip premium payments. The next is partial withdrawal. 
which means partial withdrawals can be made from the cash value that was available. And last, adjustment of death benefits, which could be adjusted and the face amounts could be varied. The major innovation in universal life insurance was the introduction of completely flexible premiums after the first policy year. In India, as per the IRDAI norms, there are only two kinds of permitted non-traditional savings life insurance products. First are variable insurance plans and second are unit-linked policies. Let us first look at variable life insurance. Variable life insurance is a kind of whole life policy. This policy was first introduced in the United States in 1977. It is a permanent life insurance policy where premium payments are fixed. Let us look at the differences between traditional cash policy and variable life insurance policy. In case of traditional cash value policy, the face amount remains level throughout the policy term. The cash value grows with premiums and interest earnings at a specified rate. Whereas in case of variable life insurance, assets representing the policy reserves are placed in a separate fund. They are not a part of the general investment account. In traditional cash value policy, assets backing the policy reserves form part of the general investment account. In this account, the insurer maintains the funds of its guaranteed products. Whereas in variable life insurance policy, the cash values are funded by separate accounts of the life insurance company. Death benefits and cash values vary to reflect investment experience. In traditional cash policy, the assets are placed in a portfolio of secured investments, whereas variable life insurance policy also provides a minimum death benefit guarantee for which the mortality and expense risks are borne by the insurance company. In case of traditional cash policy, the insurer can expect to earn a steady rate of return on the assets in this account. Lastly, the premiums are fixed for variable life insurance policy as under the traditional whole life policy. So which option do you think is more preferred? Variable life policy or traditional cash policy? Variable life policy has become the preferred option for those who want to keep their assets invested in an assortment of funds of their choice, want to benefit directly from favorable investment performance of their portfolio, are able and willing to bear the investment risk on the policy, are knowledgeable with equity or debt investments and market volatility. Thank you. In this last video of the lesson, Life Insurance Products 2, we will learn about unit-linked policies. Next, we are going to learn about unit-linked policies. These policies provide the means for direct and immediate cashing on the benefits of a life insurer's investment performance. Unlike a pure insurance policy, ULIP gives investors the benefits of both insurance and investment under a single integrated plan. In ULIP, the premiums paid by the policyholders are invested in funds chosen by them. This is done after deducting the allocation charges, administration charges, and charges for providing insurance cover. ULIPs are transparent with regards to their term, expenses, and saving components. The value of each unit of a fund is determined by dividing the total value of the fund's investments by the total number of units. So who prefers ULIPs? ULIPs are suitable for those who wish to monitor their investments closely and whose investment horizon is medium to long term. Here is a quick look at the topics covered in this chapter. Thank you.